A. Wood Johnson Jr., better known to us all as Mr. Magic, was born in New Orleans on August 16, 1975, and was raised in the largest and one of the most dangerous areas throughout the entire city, the Night Ward. With an aggressive and unique rap flow, along with the ability to control the crowd, Mr. Magic had become one of New Orleans' most demanded artists, and in 1998, he had signed with the world's biggest label, No Limit Records. After three Billboard charting albums and a toxic relationship, relationship with the label's owner. He left No Limit Records and resurfaced in 2004 with the club banging anthem, I Smoke, I Drink, which was released under Roy Jones Jr.'s Bodyhead Entertainment label. After major mainstream success and 10 plus years of the music business, he had officially become his own boss by starting his own label and he called it Banks Entertainment. Mr. Magic was now an independent industry player and ultimately was now in control of his own finances and future. But unfortunately, the early wee hours of March 1st, 2013 Team would permanently put an end to it all. But there's a, there's a story there, you know. It's one of the saddest stories, really. I mean, Mr. Magic and his wife both died, you know, in a car accident on the way home from a show in Mississippi uh, a few years back. Mm. And, um, you know, real, real sad story. You know, rest in peace. I went to McDonald 19 just like y'all First bus I ever called, it was called the St. Claude You know me, thug I'm right up the street from Pugilist Where ignorance is everywhere And murky nothing new to us A lot of people don't understand how much talent that dude had yeah. That's probably the most talented rapper i worked with in my life What part of New Orleans are you from? Oh, that's Ninth Ward, man Everybody knows that, that's Mr. Mr. Ninth Ward As you can see, I'm right here at Tennessee and Claiborne Ninth Ward, my hood, you feel me? I'm a Ninth Ward nigga till they lay me Not cause I'm rebellious, this where mama raised me Known to locals as Cross the Canal Ninth Ward, New Orleans is the largest ward of them all And is often referred to as a city within the city It lies in the downtown area And is represented by neighborhoods such as St. Claude, Florida, Desire, Bywater, Marigny And a great portion of all Eastern New Orleans Orleans. Celebrity status Night Ward natives consist of Fats Domino, Marshall Falk, Kermit Ruffin, Kid Kid, Feli Phil, and several others. After dropping a fistful of mainstream hits of his own, Mr. Magic would join that list. And with the assistance of a Seven Ward native, he was able to drop another one. Be doctor! 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 doctor. Let's welcome him by the B Doctor, that's Seven Boy Soldier, man. I mean, he had been in the game forever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. B Doctor had already dropped I Smoke, I Drank, and he was real hot at the time. I, I used to work at Guitar Center, and, you know, he I'd meet everybody through there, like all the producers coming in and stuff, you know? I, that's how I got to know KLC, DJ Spin, everybody like that. And I met Beat Doctor, and me and him chopped it up, and um, I started making beats for his his label, and that's how I got involved with Mr. Magic and stuff like that. It was actually through Beat Doctor, and I see murder. Bitch, you fucking with a grown man. I been wagged you in your house and buried you on your own land. And when when you met Magic, what what Magic was he at the time? He was he, he wasn't on, he was done with No Limit, or he was still on No Limit? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Magic broke broke off from No Limit, man. Um, you know he uh he you know he he definitely that that was not. That was that was pretty sour, man. He got a he got a, a freestyle on YouTube where he goes off on Master P, man. He, he does it over that um, Eminem beat, man, and uh, he'll tell you the whole story in that song. Your name is no longer good. You claim the city, but we never see your ass in the hood. See the UPT done disowned you. But nah, you know after that, uh, that's when he signed up with Roy Jones. Yeah, Bodyhead. You know I, I smoked, I drank. He did that with them. I'm a dog. Yeah, I love her. By the time I linked up with him, you know, he was, you know, he was done with that whole situation, moving on, and we was working on his album, Me and Beat Doctor. Everybody always just knows one side of Magic, right? The side, the, the music that he did with No Limit, and, you know, I Smoke, I Drank. You know, he was so much more than just that. And he, he had an album that was, I'm talking like, on a whole nother level. <laughs> say that they this was a single that they were planning on dropping to probably launch magic's album and i want to say that they didn't drop it until after he died and it was more of like a gofundme type of thing or something like that 
Um, I could be wrong on some of that. Um, but the song is called Blow My High. It's got Hey Bebe on it. It's got Juvenile, Magic, my boy Greedy, produced by Beat Doctor. The song is off the chain. Know your game. We roll the name. Somebody getting it when it's over. Don't you overhang. And you can see it in my eyes. Oh, man, I'm feeling good. Ain't gonna let you blow my high. We had other songs, too. I mean, there was a song with um, Hurricane Chris um, called Ya. Yeah. That um, I worked on with Magic and, and Beat Doctor. That never got dropped due to some uh, issues with getting Hurricane Chris on the video or something like that. So I'm back, you feel me? Tell the world I'm back. You know what I'm talking about? Be on the lookout for me. You know what I'm talking about? Anytime, anywhere, it don't make a difference. Holla at your boy. You know who I am, Mr. Carmen, when you need me. After serving his due diligence to the game, he was ready for a higher level of success. And with the powerful production team and superstar qualities, Magic was on his way back to the majors in a profound way. But unfortunately, the morning of March 1st, 2013, it was all taken away. And you had mentioned earlier, you said him and his wife was together when, when the incident happened. What, where were they coming from? Uh, I believe they were coming from a show. Yeah, a show in Mississippi, I believe, if I remember correctly. They, they got hit by like a truck or something, like a 18 wheel or something. And um, was basically killed instantly in a car accident. Yeah, yeah it is a sad, sad situation, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think they, I think they might have dropped a song right after that featuring Juvenile with Beat Doctor on the beat. See, I advise you, little daddy, to be cool. You came in with some shit on your mind, well, me too. Shaggy, I'm telling you to your face. Now you gonna be the cause of people dying in this place. I'm thugged out. You see, he had a deal. And uh, we was working on uh, we was working on his album. Me and Beat Doctor, um, you know, was was you know working with Magic on a regular basis, trying to um, chop up an album for him. Still smoking and still drinking. Rest in peace, to Mr. Magic. You heard me.